Welcome back to the Toronto website developer.com. I am Peter Yorsky, the Toronto website developer specializing in Drupal. And in this video tutorial, we're going to take our first look at Ubercart in Drupal 7. And I'm going to show you how to configure Ubercart as well as create a product associated with a site membership so that you can create a membership site where uh, users can purchase a role and it'll be an ongoing subscription based role. So let's dive right into it. Um, in order to set up Ubercart, there's a whole bunch of modules that you're going to need to download in order to do this. So uh, normally I would just tell you to go get them, but I'm going to actually show you the configuration because uh, it's a little bit more complicated than normal. So first things first, uh, you're obviously going to download Ubercart, so project slash Ubercart uh, from Drupal.org. And you'll see that it comes with a whole whack of stuff. So uh, just like in Drupal 6, you know, we got cart, order, product, store. Um, and you also have file downloads, but what file downloads needs is it actually requires rules, entity tokens, and the entity API. So you're going to have to go ahead and download those three modules from Drupal.org as well. In doing that, you'll also probably want to go ahead and grab Colorbox. Um, uh, previous Drupal 6 uh, Ubercard video tutorials, we, we used uh, Lightbox. Colorbox is similar, um, kind of a jQuery overlay of an uh, of, uh, enlarged image. So, uh, go ahead and get that. In doing so, you're also going to have to go over to colorpowered.com slash colorbox. You'll download this library and you're going to put it in your sites all libraries folder um, and there will be a colorbox folder in there that you're going to create. Uh, so you have to do that in order to get colorbox working. Um, and then that's all that you really need. So in terms of uh, enabling modules, Let's just scroll down the list so you can see what I've gone ahead and I've enabled. And so you'll see I've got color box enabled, entity API, entity tokens. I've got rules, rules UI, uh, cart, order, product, and store. Those are all Uber cart. You have to have them, they're all required. Uh, then I've enabled file, file downloads, payment, roles. Right, we can assign permanent or expiry roles based upon product purchases. That's what we're going to be looking at now. Taxes, because in Canada we you're going to charge taxes. Um, also created uh, cart links. If I had uh, Google Analytics, I could enable that to uh, track stats on my on my cart. Um, and then lastly, for checkout, I've enabled credit card and test payment gateway so that we can test our products. You're going to go ahead and save that configuration, and then we'll move on to configuring Ubercart. So because you're going to be selling roles, we're going to have to go ahead and create one that uh, users will purchase. So you're going to go to People, Permissions, Roles, and I'm just using the Administration Toolbar. That's what this is up here. It's a contributed module. So if you're wondering what that is, you can go ahead and grab that. So you'll see here I've already created Site Member. Uh, so you just do the same thing. Site Member, hit Add Role, Save, and there's your new role. That's what's going to be sold. So let's go ahead, and you're going to now go to Store Configuration. And we're going to go to product settings and let's take a look at our default settings here. We'll go right into edit. And when you first, um, if you don't have color box, you won't have this option, but I do. So we're going to enable color box. Um, and that should be it. You'll go ahead and save that configuration. You won't have anything else to add there unless you want to change some of the uh, finer details there. Um, none of these will be enabled when you first come here, but I've enabled display price, SKU, and add to cart. Um, if you're selling, you know, physical products or that kind of thing, or you're not using roles, you can go ahead and configure those here. In terms of product features, this is where we're going to actually do our role assignment. So see here, I've enabled file download, which we talked about. That'll be the subject of another tutorial. But you can choose your actual role. So I'm selling site membership. That's the default if uh, somebody purchases this product. Uh, so we're going to choose site member is the one that's uh, available. The expiration date is going to be relative from the activation time because I want them to have one year purchase. Um, you can multiply by the quantity so that if they buy two years, that, that's okay. And uh, the expiration display, this will be uh, a reminder that the users will get. So you can actually change these. This is where token kind of comes into play. So you see the date, the, the role name. Um, and sorry, that gets displayed on the, on the user's page. And I've also chosen a reminder. Chosen a reminder. Uh, this will be blank by default, but I've chosen one month that they'll get their uh, their uh, notification. So you can go ahead and save that configuration. And that is it for product settings. Let's go ahead and we'll set up a payment gateway. 
just so that we can complete our order. So we're going to go to Store, Configuration, Payment Settings. I guess we'll just go right into Edit. And we're going to go into Payment Methods. So it's going to want my um, encryption set up. So in order to do that, so I'm going to go to C, Clamp, Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and operate in debug mode. Uh, I don't want to validate on checkout because I'm not going to be providing real credit card details. And we're not going to be processing. And that's fine. So there we go. Encryption has been set up. Now if you actually go into encrypt, you'll see it creates the key there for you. So let's go ahead and payment gateway. I'm going to choose your desk test gateway, we're going to authorize and capture and enable. So that's good to go. Um, so next thing that we're going to do is we are going to set up our content type because we have product, uh, we have image fields. So what we want to do is just want to make sure that that image field is going to use color box. So when you come in here, you'll see we have image. We're going to go ahead and modify this and image style. I'm going to just use the PC product, link image to, don't want to do anything. You can link it if you want to allow people to download or, or that kind of thing. So we'll hit we'll save. Okay, now the last thing we have to do before we actually get rolling on creating a product is just make sure our permissions are set properly. Always a good idea when you enable a new module to check out your permissions. Common mistake to uh, or at least for me, is to enable something and uh, not realize that you haven't set the permissions properly when it doesn't work. So in order to create orders, you're gonna have to go to the order permission and view own, own orders. Uh, I enabled anonymous and authenticated. Those are both disabled by default and create orders, I gave them both. Um, I guess I might as well just give edit orders to authenticated. And believe that's it. I may have missed something because I did configure some of this previously. And so we're good. So next thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually go ahead and create a product. So let's go home. One thing that kind of bugs me is that there is no create product up here. Um, so anyways. I've got it in my navigation bar, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a product. Like I said, we're creating a site membership, so I'm gonna call this uh, membership to Keats Awesome D7 Sandbox, right? So I'm just gonna choose a quick image file. So, Show picture of Bailey. So they call it membership skew. It's a great site, so it's gonna be $99. And we'll save and continue because we have to associate the um, role with the product. So we're gonna go ahead and roll assignment, hit add. So SKU is site membership. You're gonna get the site member shippable product. We're not going to override anything. Multiply the quantity. We'll go ahead and save feature. So now you see we have the product feature, which is good to go. And if you actually go into store products, view products, you can see the site membership is here as well. And you can see that this is not working properly. So let's go ahead and go back to our content types. We have to go to product, manage display. Default format, we want that to be color box. So 
So we actually want this to be UC product list. And then we want the color box to be UC product full. What we should have done the first time. So now when we go home, we have a nice looking image. And just to show you that it did work, if we go back to products, actually you didn't have to go there, could have clicked on it. We have a nice image. And if I click on this, that's color box right there, showing me the nice jQuery overlay, a uh, nice little floated uh, title for the image. Pretty good. So let's go ahead and we're gonna log out and we'll purchase this as an anonymous user. Add to cart. We'll go ahead and we'll check out. So my email address is peter at So Ontario. All right. Billing is the same. Ninety nine credit card number. So all these errors are just because it can't mail me, uh, which is good because I got my stuff right here. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll log in. I. So there you go. We uh, click here to view our order history. So we have one pending. So we're not actually a member yet. You'll see what well, would help if I switch over to the admin. I should now be able to go into store, orders, view orders. Great, so I can see the order is here. Let's go ahead and view it. Process the card. Charge the amount. I'm going to change this to completed, update, and you'll see here we've got users granted uh, user role, site member. So now if I go up to people, go to list, and you'll see Yaworski is now a site member. So that's it. Uh, you just set up Ubercart. You've allowed people to download a product and create a site membership. Um, very quick, very dirty. Um, in the next video tutorial, we'll take a look at file downloads, uh, also something I offered in Drupal 6. Again, very simple, easy to do, um, and you can take this and run with it. So I hope that helps. Uh, leave a comment, let me know if these are useful to you, and uh, shoot me an idea, let me know what you're looking for in the next video tutorial. Thanks very much.